How's it going? I'm Jared Gillis. Welcome to another All About RVs. Today, we're gonna to be talking about installing a Microwear Easy Start on the AC of your RV and hopefully simplifying it. When you first look at it, it can really look pretty complex. You don't know where you're gonna be connecting it and what the different pieces are, but once you understand that you kind of have a map to lead you through this and where the key points are, it's really pretty simple. There's only four wires to get it up and running. And uh, so once we take those into steps and just see where it connects to, it it's really pretty simple. So the reason why we're looking at when we install the Microwear Easy Start on our AC unit is because it's really the most advanced product that I can find out there for helping your AC start and not have a massive draw of energy in the beginning. You can do some other things. You can do some start capacitors and a few other things that kind of help take the edge off and maybe you can start it on the, the generator, but really this is the one that gives you the most performance. Oftentimes being able to decrease that, that draw in the beginning by more than 60 so it's very impressive. So when you're trying to run your AC on a generator and you don't want it to stall out, this is the device that you're looking for. If you're trying to run two 13,000 BTU AC units on the RV, you can do that on a 30 amp service. You have a lot more flexibility of the things that you can have on when your AC kicks on without tripping a breaker. It's gonna be quieter at night because it's not as loud when the, the compressor and the whole cycle of it starting up. It's really the most advanced device out there to help your AC start. But we've covered a lot of these things in the past, so I wanna get on to the install because ours is the Furion AC. It's a newer AC model out there. There wasn't a diagram to be able to follow to be able to install this on there. So I kinda of had to make my own diagram so I could follow it and see where the wires were going to connect. And hopefully the things that I learned along through this process, I can pass along to you. So if you're installing it on another AC and you're looking at the diagram, you can quickly see and learn where you need to connect these wires. So it's just easy and you can get up and running in no time. So for most AC units, you can just download the diagram of how to install it off of their website. Uh, but this one, I just looked up on the wiring diagram inside the book, I ended up printing it off so I can make some notes on here and uh, make basically my map of how it's going to get installed. So once you have your wiring diagram, basically your map, you're just gonna need an installation kit and some wire strippers and some crimpers and a, a few tools to be able to take the, the case apart and get inside. So before we start messing with the electrical, a couple of things we wanna do. Number one, we wanna turn off the power. So I'm gonna turn off the breaker and I'm gonna pull the fuse. So that way it cuts the power for the DC and the AC side that's going to the AC unit. So I know that I don't have any power going up there. And then number two, we need to familiarize ourselves with what we're gonna be doing when we get up there. So there's only a, a few things that we're really gonna have to identify when we get up there. Number one's going to be the compressor. It's really the key behind understanding how this map works and what wires we're gonna be connecting to. So when we locate that compressor, it's gonna show us which wires we're connecting to. Over here, we have the main capacitor. That's where the majority of our connections are going to be happening. So the other thing that we would need to identify is if there's a start capacitor on there, uh, that's something that we're just gonna have to take out and disable. So really those are the main components that we're gonna be looking for and identifying when we get up there. So once we have the cover taken off, we can locate those components to be able to make our connection. So this is what the compressor looks like. If we were to take that little cover off the top, we see that we have the terminals R, C, and S. Then moving around the other side of the AC, you can see that this is what our capacitor looks like. Now, capacitors can hold a charge. That's what their, their job is. So uh, you can either discharge that so you don't get zapped and shocked by it. You can use a multimeter to uh, get rid of that charge, or you can take an insulated handled tool. You don't wanna be touching any part of the metal of that tool. So I use some needle nose pliers and I bridge between those terminals to get rid of any of the charge that was still inside of that capacitor. You don't wanna get shocked, so you wanna discharge it. Now that that's done, we're ready to start making our connections. Our electrical box is a little bit tight, so I'm actually gonna pull that capacitor out just so it's a little bit easier to work on and make those connections. So uh, the first one that we're gonna start with is going to be the easy one. We're going to take the common wire off of the capacitor that that wire is connected to the R terminal on the compressor. So this is pretty simple to locate that wire. We're gonna look at the R terminal on the compressor and we're gonna follow that wire until it connects to the capacitor. So once I think I have that located on the capacitor, I'm going to pull that off of the terminal. I wanna actually check this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my multimeter and to use a continuity test. So it'll basically show me that this wire is the same wire. So if I have continuity on this side, it is the same wire. 
So I can see looking at that diagram, I needed to pull that white wire off that terminal, leave that terminal open. And now this white wire is gonna connect to the brown wire of the micro air easy start. So this is gonna be our first connection. So let's strip those wires, twist them together and crimp them tight. Moving on to our second connection, we're gonna connect the white wire to the capacitor. This one's gonna be even easier than the step that we had before this. We're just gonna take the white wire from the micro air easy start and we're gonna connect it to the capacitor. So with those two connections done, let's move on to the third. Looking at our roadmap here, uh, we need to connect the orange wire to the capacitor. And this one on ours, it's labeled CP. Some of them it might be labeled Herm, but we need to find that position by going back to our key, which is the compressor. And we're gonna look for the one that is labeled S. We follow that red wire all the way down to the capacitor, which is labeled CP. So now we just need to put that orange wire on that same terminal in the capacitor. Now ours is a little bit different. We didn't have any other places to be able to put this wire. So uh, in the installation kit, we had one where we were able to put two wires onto one post. So I stripped the wire, crimped a new end on there, and I was able to put both these wires on that position on the capacitor. So with each of these connections, I like to confirm that I'm getting the right terminal. So uh, I use the multimeter each time. So when I find the terminal that I'm looking for, I just double check it. So I use that continuity test. So I'll put it on the S of the compressor, and then I'll also put it on the terminal of the capacitor to make sure that I have continuity and that I have the same terminal. So once you confirm that, you know you're in the right spot. So now we have our last connection. We wanna locate the compressor, the C terminal on that, which comes down to the overload protection, which brings us to that blue wire. That blue wire is where we want to splice in our black wire from the micro air easy start. So we locate that on the AC, we follow it down till we find that blue wire. We're gonna splice into there. So we're gonna cut it, we're gonna strip those wires, we're gonna twist them together with the black wire from the micro air easy start, and then we're gonna crimp it tight. For this one, I know on the diagram, it looks like that connection is made right next to the compressor, but as I follow that wire, that connection was easier to, to be made inside of that electrical box. It's the exact same wire. I just located it in there and followed the path and confirmed that that was the same wire. And so I made the electrical connection in there. At this point, we wanna secure all those connections so you can wrap a little bit of electrical tape around those crimped connections. And then we can start putting everything back in place. Now that brings us to the last couple of steps. We need to mount the device somewhere inside the ACE unit. You have screws. You wanna make sure that you don't screw into something and puncture a line or screw into something you shouldn't. So be careful when you're doing that. They also gave you double-sided sticky tape so you could just stick it somewhere in there and secure it down. So you can zip tie those wires. This is something that takes a little bit of forethought. You wanna think about this before you begin the install. You wanna see how you're gonna route those wires so that you know where you're going to be mounting this device. That way you don't have a a cover plate that you can't put on because you just stuck the wires through there. So make sure it's routed through the proper ways, secure it down and mount this inside the AC unit. At this point, we can turn on the AC. We're actually gonna have to do that five times so it can learn your AC unit and be optimized for it. So uh, each time you start it up, you wanna wait a little bit of time in between. There should be a timer in your AC unit, but just in case, uh, I like to wait five minutes in between turning it off and starting it. So that was a rundown and a how to install this easy start on your RV AC. So if you're interested and you wanna check it out, I'll put a link down below. You can find the, the current pricing there. Uh, we previously had a start capacitor on our previous AC before we switched to this Furion. And it was night and day difference between the performance of uh, just a start capacitor, one of those soft start kind of devices, and this easy start from MicroAir. It's night and day difference. The performance that you get out of this one. So um, I'm also going to put a link down in the description to this diagram. So if you had a Furion AC, I didn't see a diagram for it. So if you're just kind of wanting a cheat sheet and know exactly how to, how to wire it in there, I'll put this on our website link down in the description below. So I think that's going to do it for today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos about RVing, hit that subscribe button. And if we don't see you on the road, hopefully we will see you in the next video.